What's up guys? So I don't typically do this. I usually play an episode and then wait for the next day to continue the series. But I I loved this game so much. I, I mean I literally played it like five hours ago that I said I, I gotta go back in there and I gotta finish the story. I I love what's happening within the story. I love the mystery. I love the narrative of every single character that lived within this mansion. Every single person that is related to Edith. I want to know more about them. And we are just about maybe a little bit under an hour until we finish this game. I said it on the first episode as a relatively short game. Thank you for those of you that supported the first video. Um, and we're back. There, there's just nothing else to say, but we are back. And uh, I know it's going to be an emotional ride. It, it's already been emotional. So it just feels like this is one of those games where it's going to be a hard ending. And I don't know if I got this... And I, like, I don't know if I understood this incorrectly, but I think she's pregnant. Like Edith, the girl we're playing with. I mean, she did say anyways. <sighs> Thank you for being here. I'm going to stop talking. I don't know. I'm just I'm a little nervous, but this game is so darn good. Like this story, like this is what you call triple A storytelling. Guys, we're back. OK, and now we are entering. I forgot the name of this next character, but if you guys take a look at our journal, We've already pretty much seen the story of Odin, which is essentially the first of our family tree, right? Um, we've got Calvin and Sam. Well, not really Sam, but Calvin and Sam were brothers. Um, they were twins. Calvin had a really, really, really sad story. And then Barbara, of course, and Molly, and then Walter. Then, of course, we are playing as Edith. Hopefully, she doesn't die because <laughs> we're playing as her. But I wouldn't be surprised. Anyhow, um, I forgot whose room this was. Sam. Oh, no. Oh. That's right. He enrolled in the Marines. But he actually made it. He actually made it. Until 1983. Oh, dude. Oh, my God. Remember, he was super depressed because his brother Calvin died and stuff like that. Oh, my goodness. Let's see. This is such a good game. What are these pictures? Dawn, I promise you'll never forget this weekend. Yes, sir. These memories are going to last a lifetime. Mm hmm. Am I gonna have to shoot anything? It's a hunting trip, Don. Shooting is strongly encouraged. Not quite. Wait, what am I? I'm sorry. What am I looking at here? Shouldn't we be leaving? Just want to get a shot of you, Don. Then we can take off. Oh. What? Oh. <laughs> I'm so. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Perfect. It's gonna rain the whole weekend, isn't it? Yeah, let's see. I want to say take a picture of this. Please just take the damn picture. Hey, language. I oh. will never forget this weekend, Dad. That's the spirit. The Odin Finch National Park. Jesus. Okay, got it. How much money did these people have? I'm gonna take some pictures, okay? Just be careful. The oh camera's my. older than you are. Oh my god. What did I say? Listen, I'm gonna be honest, the first episode didn't even get monetized. I got a copyright claim. Because of the music. Drunk all that coffee. Oh god. Taking a hey. picture of my dad pissing. <laughs> That's the keeper. <laughs> a little weird, but okay. I'm just saying, I'm not always gonna be here, Don. You'll need to remember this stuff if you wanna survive. I'll be fine, Dad. <laughs> you know who else thought he was going to be fine? Some guy who died. Don, I'm being serious. I know, Dad. You're always serious. Doesn't being out here make you want to chill out? Well, to tell you the truth, I haven't been out here in 20 years. Dad! Good eyes, Don. Oh. You 
before I you take see. the shot. Let me get a picture of him. Where is he? What are we looking at? This little music is gonna make me ball out, bro. Dad. survive you need to be strong fuck great shot don <laughs> oh no i'm proud of you don always remember that okay i'm actually playing as sam i could never kill a deer i just could never Watching Bambi as a kid fucked me up, okay? I can Dad, never. it's twitching. I think That's it's totally so normal, Doc. Just focus on the camera. That's so fucked up. Oh, oh, shit! Did he die? Of all these stories, that's the one I wish most that my mom had told me. That won't hit me. <laughs> Give me a second. <clears throat> I don't know why. That one got me emotional. Literally at the last second. It was just a dad trying to spend time with his daughter. And he dies. <sighs> Sorry. <sighs> oh, God. This fucking game. I'm a family man, okay? Shit like this hurts me. I'm sorry. <sighs> okay, I don't know if I should go in there. Just yet. Oh, hi. Wait, is, what, what are we doing? Wait, give me a second. Oh my god. Instead of hiding from death, Sam seemed to go out of his way to meet it. Oh, Sam. What happened to his daughter, Dawn? Do we have Dawn here on the notebook? Yeah, we do. Oh, she died in 2016? Oh, no. Bro, this is such a sad game, bro. It's Sam spent his life shooting photos, but mom said he got nervous being in front of the camera. I guess we're all afraid of something. <sighs> Fuck. I'm an emotional mess right now. After Sam died, my mom and Edie got really close. They'd both lost a lot. So what room is this? Oh, Greg. Oh my God. Please don't tell me the baby died. No, 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 Edith, damn it. Okay, so Sam had three kids, Gregory, Gus. Oh, no. <laughs> Divorce. Dear Kay, do you remember the way Gregory used to laugh when he thought he was alone? Like something funny was happening, but only he could see it. Oh, playing as a baby. I think he saw things the rest of us don't. So maybe we're just supposed to play with this little frog here. Oh, there we go. Oh, I'm, this is so cool. I'm playing as the frog. <laughs>
Hold on, sweetie. Hello? Sam, I told you I don't want to talk right now. This is so cool. What, saw. what his world was like. I'm actually playing as a frog. This is like the most coolest thing ever. <laughs> This is so cool. Whatever it was, he saw. Woohoo! Woohoo! I'm literally a baby, man. Like, I'm like on fucking shrooms or something. I don't know. <laughs> How does this game go from like an emotional mess to like an absolute crazy of a bath trip as a baby? There we go. What else? But I'm worried about a baby being too happy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, I think mom's here. I know you did everything you could. Maybe if I hadn't called that night. No. I don't want Gregory to hear this. No, no. I wish you could have told us. No. About the world we saw. No, 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 no. Please don't do this. No. There's so much I don't understand. This is unbelievable. Not everything. Don't tell me he drowned, bro. Come on. But I know what happened it wasn't your fault. I can't believe that. And it's crazy how this game puts it. It's like. I can't imagine my mom ever writing poetry, and yet. And this kid died at what, 13 years of age or something? A poem for Gus. A poem for Gus, who always said the wedding was a bad idea. Our father never hit us kids, at least not very hard. Before the day my brother said with teenage disregard that he'd be dead before he'd see a wedding in our yard. My father made him come, of course, but Gus stood far apart, just flew his kite and bottled up the storm inside his heart. Hmm. This is so cool and unique, the way they do this. Him out of it, but though he'd never met her. We don't need a stepmom, were the words that I... I now mean. pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Oh, God. When the time for photos came, Dad ordered him to come, come here. here. But Gus declined, and as a sign held up his middle finger, <laughs> what a rebel. I mean, I get it, man. That must be hard. Up and panicked geese appeared and quickly went. But all the humans did that day was go inside the tent. That's so hard for a kid, man. To have to go through that. 
I never did, but I always, you know, sometimes came very close to having to deal with that. Seeing your parents arguing and stuff. Rain came that's... down in buckets then, but no one seemed afraid that nature might destroy the tent our dad had crudely made. So how do we die exactly? How does this kid die? Thunder sounded much too close and full of angry power. But all my father said to this was, make the music louder. Oh god. Are we gonna get struck by lightning? Please don't. Please don't. Okay, so we gotta find other words here. Maybe pick up all, we gotta pick up all the chairs. Perhaps. There it is. <gasps> oh! Oh my god. It's got such a unique way of storytelling. I wish storytelling. That I could truly say I thought about you on that day. Out there on the beach alone. Just you, the wind, the sea, and foam. But I didn't. Until we found you. Wow. She never talked about him, but Mom told me once if I was a boy, they were going to name me Gus. It's so crazy how you go, you go up the family tree and you start seeing all of their lives unfold as a family, as a generation, from generation to generation. It's so interesting. Alright, so we're gonna have to go up there, just make sure there's nothing else here. It's crazy because it all started, not really started with, with uh, Sam and Calvin, but like on the last episode we saw a cool little room that Sam and Calvin had. And stuff like that and and now he's here sam after his brother died he's a father of three and he's going through his troubles and his kids passing away along with him as well <sighs> raise the flag at 7 30 breakfast at 8 quiet time at 11 p.m duties done except a uh, sweep and trash gus mop more uh more the yard greg be a baby <laughs> What My a mom curse, man. Huh? Loft after her brothers died. <sighs> At the time, it was as far away as she could get. <sighs> she spent a summer building houses in Calcutta, where she met my dad, Sanjay. Hmm. Interesting. Nothing else here? Religion was another thing my mom never talked about, but I think it helped her a lot after her dad died. My mom moved to India a week after graduation and got a job teaching English. Lewis was born a year later. Lewis. Okay, so. Oh, so this is Dawn now. Dawn having her kids. So you see Sanjay there with a little leaf. And then Sven with a little leaf saying, oh my God. When my dad died, I don't think mom knew where else to go. I'm sure oh. Edie was happy to have her back. Oh my God. And to see kids in the house again. Wait, so, so, so. Oh my God. So Dawn is Edith's mother? And Sam was her grandfather? The house had to get a little bigger, but Edie was used to that. 
And this is that extension that they built so that when you when we saw it from outside it was really tall and skinny. And for a while, things were good. Almost normal. Edith. Yes, it's Fen Odin. Who was Edith? But it didn't last. Bro, I'm so sad, bro. <laughs> Fuck. What a great game. Holy hell. The beginning of the end was Milton's 10th birthday when Edie gave him a castle. Oh my god. Milton, 1992. After Milton disappeared, the only thing he left behind was a room full of paintings. So wait, is Milton still alive? No, he passed. 2003. Alright, let me just make sure there's nothing back here before I go. This is such a depressing game, man. What have I gotten myself into? So this is our immediate right now. This is this is this is our brother. This is gonna hit home. Oh my god. Oh no. Here we go. Milton Finch in the magic paintbrush. Dude, we are pregnant. There's no she's pregnant, bro. you think it takes to do that i want to say a couple of weeks at the very least some serious talent right there i was four when milton disappeared oh my god so this pretty much confirms that our mother died dawn we haven't Mom spent months searching for my brother. Then she sealed the doors. Rightfully so, huh? This is a really cool room for a kid. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. I would like a room like this. But not anymore, obviously. Whatever Milton had found in the house, Mom didn't want it getting out. Oh, wow. So now we can go up here. You know, at first I thought this was going to be a walking simulator, and it is. Mom definitely blamed Edie, but I think Lewis blamed himself. But it's amazing. Oh, my After God. After he graduated, he just spent more and more time in his room. Until Mom got him a job at the cannery. And then he died. Everyone was hoping to stay out of Lewis's room. Except Lewis. Wait, he died? Okay, he was 22. Okay, so before I go there, no, you know what? I'm gonna go here. If we keep going up, we're just gonna skip Lewis. This is so cool, man. Look at this. They need to make a sequel to this game. What is going on? Well, maybe, I don't know. I guess we'll see how it ends. If it doesn't end a sequel ish, then maybe not. But this is so amazing. Lewis's room smelled very. Very familiar. That part of him lived on. Lewis and I spent a lot of time playing games together, but he was surprisingly bad at them. He died a lot. Oh, come on. Hold it together, man. We got this. We got this. Don Finch.
Dear Mrs. Finch, as Lewis's psychiatrist, I can understand your desire for an explanation. As I see it, the trouble began in January, shortly after we convinced your son to seek treatment for substance abuse. Newly sober, I believe Lewis first noticed the monotony of his daily life. He kept working at the cannery, but he withdrew part of himself. In our sessions, I saw the same behavior. His mind began to... What? Wonder. Oh! I asked him to describe it. He said he started small. Imagining a labyrinth. This is so cool. He'd feel his way about. Then something moved. Bass. I'm actually controlling both things. Codes. Like with my right joystick, I'm controlling the arm and the fish. And the left, I'm going and playing, walking around here in this walking simulator mini game or and whatever. Things that have not names. Oh, he this knew is it dark. was all in his head. But he took it very seriously. I had hoped he'd find himself. But he found something more. I worried about him then. Daydreaming at the cannery. I spoke with his boss. Bro, but what he is... said Lewis had become a model employee. Methodical, tireless, focused. Like a whole new Lewis. So I let him go on. I even encouraged him. It seemed very promising at first. Oh, he no. told me he'd made a new friend. I'm really bad at multitasking, okay? I'm sorry. On the edge of a city he named Lewis Topia. Damn. He built the city up slowly, brick by brick. Then he made musicians. This is such a cool way to tell a story right now. Like I'm I'm in shock. And songs for them to play. talked about starting a band and he was always humming something every day his imagination grew stronger he no longer spoke at the cannon really? but his chopping was as reliable as ever then one day it struck him All the cheering crowds. Even What's the up? stones under his feet. Tell me this guy. All in his imagination. So he could do whatever he wished. Oh my lord. He held an election for mayor. <laughs> and he won. They begged him to stay, but his mind was already wandering. It became a game for him. Was Topia? He'd conquer a city, then immediately push on. This is so amazing. New Lewisville. 
<laughs> St. Louis. He started drifting away from our reality. Minneapolis. <laughs> Until one day he forgot to go home from the cannery. Even as his mother pleaded with him, part of Lewis kept sailing on. Oh my god. In Lewisburg, he heard rumors of a Handsome queen. We're gonna go get married. The queen was on her own quest for radiant rainbows. Radiant rainbows. God, this is so... the sound of her. Sorry. Electric. Silver. Uh, I'll go to this one. Now I'm trying Silver to multitask heart. here and I'm not very good at this. His chase led him to a golden palace east of the sun and west of the moon. Even then, his logic remained sound. He knew the world was all in his imagination. Lewis, behave yourself. But he was so proud of having created it. In his own eyes, he'd become something greater than a king. This guy's on some serious drugs. As someone who'd never known success in the real world, I think it was overwhelming. And then it struck him <laughs> that the real Lewis was not the one chopping salmon, but the one climbing the steps of a golden palace. My imagination is as real as my body, he told me. It was hard to argue with him. Lewis? Don't do anything stupid now, Lewis. Psychedelics and drugs and began to forget the world we know. This is so insanely cool. I think it pained him to remember Lewis, the cannery worker. I want to say he probably died at the cannery. began to despise the man with a royal contempt. Finch. Oh my god. I still thought I could save him. Even after he said he was being crowned king over all the lands of wonder. The palace would be packed with his companions. This is so trippy right now. I've got no idea what to believe. There's a fucking cat, the man. Wise calico had insisted on inviting him. <laughs> the damn cat. 
that up there? Molly. Molly is, uh, well, not his sister, but his... One of his nieces or something. She's one of the first ones. His queen waited, holding his crown. Probably nicer than reality, which for him was working at the cannery. Big crown, baby. That's the only thing left to do. What are you talking about, lady? I'm about to become a king right now. And down his head. Oh god. Oh no. No. I think you know. Mrs. Finch, your son was a kind man who will be missed by all of us who knew him. My brother was really cool. I wish you could have met him. What the hell? I want to say we're headed over to I'm our back from Lewis's funeral. My mom told me to start packing. She waited until the day before we left to tell Edie. I'm not sure if she wanted to make it easier or harder. I wish we'd stayed. But I understand why we left. So this is our room. My mom ended up leaving everything behind. Or our mom's room. Happy 90th birthday. I mean, he's the one that lasted the longest. What happened that night had been coming for a long time. Maybe Edith. we should have come sooner. Oh, wow. I mean, we're still pretty susceptible to die. We're 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 only seventeen years but it old. it had to end one way or another. Now All that's this. Left now is to tell you about that last night. This is cool. I feel like we're missing Dawn. We're missing Dawn. And Edie. Did we ever do Edie? Oh, let's see. That whole last day, Edie just watched us pack and didn't say a word. Until supper, when she raised her glass and said, To our final night together, and all our final nights apart. Grandma, you know what I said about alcohol. Some of your medications are very Edith, specific. I left a present for you in the hallway. Why don't you go open it? The grown-ups have to argue now. I'm sorry, you're right. We're all leaving tomorrow. Let's just enjoy our last- I'm not leaving. Edith, you're excused. The power had been shut off that morning, but Edie always had plenty of candles. When my mom sailed the library, I don't think she knew about the other entrance. Or that Edie had a key to it. <laughs> this is so crazy. I feel like I'm playing Harry Potter right now. The thing you're afraid of isn't going to end when you leave the house. Edith has a right to know these stories. My children are dead because of your stories. I think it's best if Edith and I leave tonight. 
We'll have the nursing home send a van for you in the morning. Okay? Hold on, hold on. I, I hope I'm not missing any other character. Dear Edith, there's so many stories I wish I could tell you, but there's only time for one. This is about what happened on the night you were born. That night, the tide went way, way out. Oh, so we're going to go to the... the first and last time I ever saw the old house aground. Yeah. Oh, my there God. There's been an earthquake out in the middle of the ocean. Hey, how about that dragon? Wasn't that the dragon that... No. Oh, my God. Are we going to visit the old house? They called it the lowest tide in a thousand years. God, it smelled awful. You know, I've seen that house every day of my life. This is one of the most I interesting never games. I'd go back to it. Just the way it tells the story, man. This is insane. When the fog rolled in, I lost my way. I just keep going straight. I got turned around. What? I started seeing things. Could that be the deer? Killed, uh, what was his name? Sam, was it? Things I'd forgotten had ever existed. So many names, bro. It's just it's hard to remember. But when I saw them, they felt like old friends. That night, a lot of things came back to me. Or maybe I came back to them. Wow. Things I can't explain, but that I need you to try and... Edith, what are you doing in here? It's mine. Edith! Mom, you're gonna rip it! Let go! I kicked and screamed, but... Mom dragged me to the car. I never saw Great Grandma Edie again. Bro! The next morning, the van came to pick her up, but... She was already gone. After that, we moved around a lot. We both tried to make the best of it. Who's ever done this? I do it all the time. Well, you used to do it all the time. Not anymore. Not a child a anymore. A few years went by. My mom didn't like to talk about it. But so she started cool. getting sick a lot. <coughs> the rest happened pretty quickly. She got better for a while. Now, this is Dawn. Her mom is Dawn, which was Sam's daughter. <sighs> and then she didn't. And then I was alone. Fuck. The last finch left alive. Until I found out about you. I'm still not sure what to tell you about all this. 
If we lived forever, maybe we'd have time to understand things. But as it is, I think the best we can do is try to open our eyes and appreciate how strange and brief all of this is. This journal was supposed to be for you. But now I hope you'll never see it. Bro, she's talking about her kid. I just want to meet you and tell you all these stories myself. But I guess if you're reading this now, things didn't work out that way. This is where your story begins. I'm sorry I won't be there to see it. It's a lot to ask, but I don't want you to be sad that I'm gone. I want you to be amazed that any of us ever had a chance to be here at all. Good luck. playing as a dead person and then her son at the end she ended up dying insane I'm sorry I'm crying like a little girl I get attached to games and that's why that's why I play single players so much more and I've always wanted to do single players here on the channel it's just it's hard to grow a fan base loyal fan base that watches anything you play but this is this is you can't match this you can't match these moments doesn't matter what you play you just you, single player games That was just incredible. Like, I have no, I have no words except. Uh, thank you to whoever made this game. All of these guys here, just absolutely incredible. I guess if there's anything that I could say is, and this is cliche as hell, but live your life the best you can. Be happy in the moment because you never know what can happen tomorrow. You never, ever really know. Enjoy your friends, your family, your kids, if you have any, your parents. I've, I've, I don't, I don't typically get into stuff like that, but for like the last five years, I've lost one family member every single year and i don't usually tweet about it and stuff or anything like that but it's it's hard you know and at least my my family my side of the family i have just my mom and dad left um things could be different but they're not i guess all i'm saying is just enjoy the people around you you just never know and that's why I'm always an emotional wreck uh, okay. is there anything here I'm an emotional wreck when I play video games I get attached to these things 
a big look at that even giving play testers credit that's amazing you guys did such a fantastic job with this game thank you man so amazing yeah we got them all so here we have uh don yep don was sam's daughter oh man the way he died oh dude what a game oh my god this is this is great this is just great the edith finch team big shout out to you guys 2012 2017 the end thank you guys so much fantastic job And there it is. I really hope you liked this video and the little two part series that we did. I love you guys. Just know that. I know it's kind of weird to say because I don't know all of you, obviously, but I, I know you as a whole. You know, I know you as a whole. And I'm really, really appreciate uh, appreciative of just people that watch my videos, man. Life's short. Life is crazy. Thank you guys. We'll catch you later, right? Right. <laughs>